And we are live. I am Rosie Murphy, a.k.a. Rosie O'Kelly. Welcome to all of you. It is Monday, Martin Luther King Day, January 15th, 2018, here on the Rancher. Just going to make sure we're... It is Monday. Partly we're propagating to the other side. Nice to see all of you. Chat just a couple hours. Many of us, it's off to work tomorrow, one or two jobs that we may have. So it was really, really, really nice to have an extended weekend off. Uh, got a lot done around the house here. We got a lot of, what do you think, Missy Jen? We got a lot of clean up, a lot of stuff put away. Got the yard work done. That pretty much secured on here. Hello, Kevin Chambers. Nice to see you, my friend. Very nice to see you. And I've uh, just been awful, awful busy. It feels nice to offset some of the uh, stuff that's going on around here by actually going out and getting a few things done. And not not feeling like you wasted the holiday. Hey, Emerson Red, nice to see you. Absolutely nice to see you. And I just came off of that uh, show earlier, the uh, Tucker Poon show over there, as many of you did. And, uh, you know, not, a lot of you don't know uh, Tucker Poon, but in reality, Tucker Poon is a guy that is frustrated. And he's frustrated with this whole phenomenon of people asking for money on YouTube. And you can sense the frustration of him. And I really feel it in the things that he does, hello, Tom, Tom, and the things that he does and the actions that he takes. Oh, I know I'm getting, I'm getting absolutely filleted all over the internet here. The actions that he does and the things that uh, he tries to do to open people's, hi, hi, Joe, to open people's eyes and make them aware of the realities. He puts a ton of time into editing and the things that he does and i think when all is said and done he's going to kind of be one of my one of my personal heroes out of here because at the end of the day hi vicky at the end of the day when they go to write this up if they ever do he'll be the guy that has the heart and he'll be the guy with the realizations that don't blame the players blame the game and therein lies the problem, that we have the world of YouTube on one hand, and we have a core group of guys, and most of them are very nice guys. They're the guys that, uh, you know, some I've known for years. But they want to, they're directing their efforts at the wrong place. And that is individual people within the game of YouTube and the things that they do on YouTube. So as a result, as the title says, they think that they can fly up to the sun. And they too can be gods because they too can rewrite the rules and institute a different set of rules for an area of YouTube. Now, the reality is that YouTube, hi, Tally Boy, the YouTube world that we know is very tiny, but the YouTube universe is, in fact, enormously large. Hi, Oz. How you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Riley. Yeah, so they're not worrying about what's going on in the, uh, in the mining community or the prospecting community or the spelunking community, or the deep sea diving community, or the fishing community, the metal detecting community. They, they've made it their point to make a stand in this community here. And a guy like Tucker Poon, who is the smartest guy in the room, is frustrated as Tucker Poon is. He knows that everything has a limit to it. Actions have a limit to it. The things that you do have a, for most people are going to have a limit to them. And when you cross that limit, you put yourself in the crosshairs. You become the object of attention. 
As somebody told me on the other hangout, Rosie, you're like a virus. You're on the chats here and there. But yet when the game of subterfuge is played over there, it's okay for them to wear 10 different hats and be 10 different people. Because the rules of you and me don't apply to them. They can be the most wicked viruses on earth and in many, many chats. And therein lies the problem. I'm not a smart person. Uh, it was over on it's a Tucker Poon channel. I'm not a smart uh, person particularly. But I did, I did learn to think and I did learn very hard lessons in life. And I took those lessons to heart. And one of the big, biggest ones is to say your piece. Yeah, transference. Hey, fun in the sun. Nice to see you. One of the things I learned is say your piece, say it once and be done with it. And then if you want to escalate, yeah, talk, yeah uh, Beta Boy always says, Tucker gave me a wrench. Only because I would have been booted out. Uh, the channel is Tucker Poon, T-U-C-K-E-R-P-O-O-N. They're just running a little side chat. They had something on earlier tonight. High Spirit of Soul. He gave me a wrench because if you hold a wrench, you can't be kicked out of the room. And Tucker thought that I might be kicked out of the room because I'm not everybody's flavor of the moment over there, that's for sure. The rules that apply to me do not apply to them. The other thing too is there's this there's this feeling of and this is the disingenuous of probably not beta boy Elvis I don't know Tucker Poon I got respect for him he can't he contacted me and he asked he said I'm going to have this chat tonight you're invited to come I'll wrench you up I said I'll be there that's fine and we'll get to that chat in a minute but you know. Let's be honest about stuff anyway. Everybody says, Rosie, you're dishonest about things. You're enabling, you're enabling. You're doing this and doing that. And no matter how many times you tell them, and no matter how many, how many times somebody struggles down in Florida, they just, you know, they, they have a set idea in their mind of them. the world that they see. And it does, if it doesn't fit their world, then you're a virus. You're an outlier on the community. Hi, Susan Brown. The worst part of all is this, this feigned caring, this pretend caring. It's really a disguise to just take somebody and pummel the living hell out of that person. And that's the reality. It would be better when you have people like a, people like a Tucker Poon to just say, I can't stand Elvis. You know, I'd like to get that guy and just thrash him and just, you know, then you understand you're clear. There's no guile in that. There's no disingenuous aspect to that. It's straight in your face, straight up. But other, other people want to carry the mantle now of pretending that under the guise of being a pal or being a steward for the future, that you know it's okay to play this game and it's okay to perpetrate this this fraud and because i hate it's okay because i care about the guy in the long run and then i'm a virus in the chats because i show up here and there and voice my opinions but yet if they wear 10 disguises in 10 different masks and they're running running a three week a three ring circus around here in the community, hey Rob, it's okay for them. The rules for you and me don't apply to them. They're not the virus, they're the cure to everything that's wrong with YouTube. But in the scheme of things, as I've said before, one guy in a camper van is but a pimple sized problem on the face of the earth when you look at the totality of all of the communities of YouTube. So when I look at Tucker Poon, I look at a guy that's frustrated. I look at a guy that I've hung out with for, I don't know, one or two years on Tribes Chat. And he's no fan of Rosie, let me tell you. Okay. And uh, I hold my tongue when I go. And I keep, I, I, I try to keep 
I try to keep very pleasant. I try to be upbeat. I try not to lose my cool and, and argue and fight with people. But yet, if you're there and you're chatting, you're a virus, not them. Although they've multiplied like a virus from single and one or two personas to many personas on there. The rules that apply to you and I don't apply to them. They're flying towards the sun right now. And you know what happened to Icarus when he flew too close to the sun? A guy like Tucker Poon realizes that it's getting a little hot. Maybe the things that are going out there aren't, aren't real savory. Maybe they're not helping right now. Maybe it's too many people over-invested. And then you got people coming that you've never seen from other communities, Australia, New Zealand, that have no, no skin in the game. One minute they're doing videos and they're... Are you thinking they're Dr. Phil? And the next minute they're chatting on the side chat like they're range cowboys in New Mexico. I don't know. Hey, Mike G, nice to see you. No, this is just a regular cup of uh, Folgers coffee here just to give me a little wake up. You try to talk on these chats. You try to tell people. You try to put some ideas in people's minds while being a nice person. And Tucker Poon and you know gets it now. And I sense that frustration when I see, when I heard him say, you know what, this stuff isn't even going to matter. People are going to keep doing the same stuff that they're doing, and this e-begging will continue. Yes, fine. Tucker Tucker has permission to, uh, you know, um, do that. I don't really mind. <clears throat> okay, they can come over here and comment, but, you know, I gave him permission uh, to do that. So it's a question of whether you want to see, you know, I, I want to be with my friends over here and chatting with them. Hi, Sister Earth. <clears throat> over here. So I think that people start to get the realization that this is, you cannot control people. So every time that somebody gives a dollar, every time a part is bought for a car, the usual suspects are going to be lined up, even though, even though the scope of the audience that's involved in this has now grown so large and he's enlisted so much sympathy outside of our small multi-year YouTube arena <clears throat> that they have no concept of what is happening here. High Spirit of Salt, he says, I just hope Elvis is not toast on the 21st. I'm just going to put it this way. If I were these people, I would be very... I would be I would not be praying for Elvis's demise after the 21st. Okay, because for every action there's a reaction in life. Okay. And I'm just holding fire there's other chapters to be written here. Yeah, that's true. Tucker says your onions be peeled. Boy, Tucker, I got no problem with you. You know, let everybody's peers decide. You're just a smart guy. I don't, I just, I, 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 you know, I'm an old broad. I got one foot in the grave. You're a young guy, I think. And I, I would hate to see you do something that could potentially endanger your future here. Because the stakes in this are now getting pretty darn high with this whole with all of these uh, shenanigans. And yes, you peel onions is something that you do great. If I had your if if I had your computer skills, I would be Casey Neistat right now with your editing and your skills on the computer. And and I can't disagree with anything that you said or anything that, you know, your your spirit of wanting to try to get a fire under people to work is a noble thing. But no matter how many times that you tell people that you agree with that sentiment, they're, they're, uh, 
Yeah, I'm not saying that talker. Boris isn't good. I'm, you know, I'm not saying that. But hopefully you're smart enough that you're not involved in the credit card thing. Okay, I get that. I mean, I'm just start, you know, Tucker, I think I, you've given me tremendous insights into the type of person that you are. You're loyal and you have an agenda and it's and it's an agenda that you believe in. Hello, Slim. <clears throat> yes, if Elvis is to be off YouTube, it should be due to the terms of service and not mob rule exactly. Uh, no, Joe, you're not. You're a spring chicken. But I'm just saying that's not good enough for this cause. So what they want to do is berate other people. You know, if you go into a chat room, you're a virus. You're playing both sides. No. You're trying to be the voice of reason on the things that are occurring. You're trying to get people to just think beyond the game. And, and it's, like the, it's like the people that are going to go in a Western town and they're going to break this guy out of jail because their bloodlust is so high that they want to hang this guy. So they break down the jail doors at 2 a.m. in the morning and they haul this guy out on the street with torches and pitchforks. And they throw the rope over the tree. They hang this guy. And then that next morning at about 8 a.m., they found out they got the wrong guy. So what happens? They end up hanging themselves. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, Tucker Poon, I just think that you have the right take on stuff. You lampoon things. You put things out there. And you have a strong opinion, and there's not one person, not one person that would disagree with uh, you. Now, I don't, I'm not saying, hi, John, I'm not saying I agree with the whole Boris show, because here's somebody that, uh, and you know, Boris and I are at opposite ends of stuff. I mean, Boris hates my guts. I mean, he's done periscopes after me, berated me. I've never done a periscope about Boris. I've never done a rant about Boris. I've never tried to influence anybody about Boris. For my part, I've just chosen to ignore Boris until all of this stuff came along. That's the reality. But I just thought, you know, with all this stuff coming out, and I had to turn off the stream for a while because I didn't think Lindy was particularly germane to. You know, when people say things in the heat of passion, when they boot, when their love life falls apart, they kind of have a they kind of have an agenda to want to kind of beef things up a little bit. And I'll tell you, although I don't agree with a lot of things that the uh, that uh, Boris does. And the way, particularly that he's his lack of respect for a lot of people. I have to say, Lindy's been nothing but kind to me every time I've ever said hi to her and dealt with her. Now that's fact. I know her and Corey. I see my friend Corey over the side here, and I love Corey to pieces. She's one of my favorite people on YouTube. I can put a parody up called Fatwa. She can look at the she can look at the parody and immediately, with insight, understand what a parody is and satire is and get it. And the real bad thing is that some people here don't get that. And they get inflamed when they see things. They don't know how to interpret things on YouTube. So these people fly very close to the sun here. And the vigilante thinks that they ride high and that other people are viruses because they want to come in and they want to express opinions and talk about stuff. And that's the reality when I'm talking about that. Uh, yeah, Poon has your hangout on his live stream. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. You know, they're not thinking about the consequences, the long term. When they when they talk about that they care of somebody, is the total and absolute ruination of somebody. Is that worth having on your conscience because you don't like the idea of 
e bagging and a and a berating, bloviating, bombastic guy in a van is going to turn your world upside down and just make it into this make it into this situation that we have now. Yes, Dartha. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Well, I don't. You know, I'm not. I don't care. Like I said to Tucker Poon, I said you can you can use my material, Tucker. You can use anything of mine. I have the thickest skin on planet Earth. I've been doxxed at a hundred ways of Sunday. I've gotten a call from everybody, from James, from Square Trade, every three seconds to Phyllis, from Harry and David, gift baskets to to uh, notes on the car, harassing my family for years since I've been on you. It's nothing new to me. You know, it's like, uh, well, we're going to tell your ex that you're trans. It's like, okay. <laughs> you're like, fine. <laughs> you, know, you just sit there and you just get stunned sometimes by the, by the, by the hubris and by the bullyisms of some of these people. And then they have the temerity to call you a virus in a chat room when they wear so many different faces and they're in so many chats and they're there 24 seven. <sighs> you know, it just astounds me. Tucker Poon, that's the best way to shut me up is give me, give me permission. Yes. I don't mind. You know, I come out, I came out of this thing. And if you found, if you found two people that could not have been more polar opposites, it would have been Tucker Poon, and Rosie O'Kelly, because Tucker Poon and I have a past. I sit in tribes room, chat room, and I enjoy chatting. But you know, Tucker Poon, he, like I said the other night, he he says the opinion. You know, I don't like certain things in life. I don't mind people being people, but I don't like people thrusting their lifestyle and their way of life on me. And I thought, right on, man. You know, let's let's stop advocating and let's just start living. It's the old, it's the old Jackie Robinson approach to baseball. It's like people tell me, you know, my a lot of people in my community, well, ninety nine point nine percent of the people in my trans community, they don't get caught dead near my channel because I'm the I'm the worst example of what it is to be trans. The reason be because I'm not I'm not a huge advocate for things because I think when you advocate things, you you create and you grease a, a false skid for people to go into the world. They go down that skid, smiling, carefree, and then they land in the real world, and that stuff doesn't fly. Because you can you can legislate all the equality what you want, but you can't make yourself. Equal in people's minds. And when Jackie Robinson broke into baseball and became the first black guy, he didn't go out there with a sign in front of, uh, in front of the uh, Ebbets Field in, in Brooklyn and say, I'm black and I deserve to play in that all equality for all. He went out there and just hit the baseball. And people started to respect him. And the respect and the gates were open for other people. No, no, no in your face, you know, you got to let me play, blah, blah, blah. Just go out and hit the ball. People overplay the gay thing. People overplay the trans thing. The reality is the best way that you can have people respect you is to go out there and just live. Don't lead with your sexuality. Don't lead with your, uh, you know, your gender. Just go out and live. I don't think if I had been a person that was known to protest and stuff like that, I would have, I would have gotten my head handed to me years ago. But because you have a thick skin. You can take it. And people say, oh, okay, there's somebody who really lives the life. They don't cut and run. They don't run to Congress for laws to try to legislate the way that people think. 
you can you can make all the laws you want, but you can't make people accept you for who you are. And that's the reality. High fun finder, high no, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at anybody. No spirit of salt. I'm not sure. Says, is there any proof that large donations is charged back? No, I don't have any proof. I'm not privy to anything. I just, I just once in a while go in, and I just try to make people aware of what they're, what they're staking a lot on in this thing. Not that I approve of it, and I've said a million times that I work hard for my money, and I go out there, and I feel like asking people to support your lifestyle is not the best way to have a great future. But I have to defend these people's right to do it, no matter how misguided I think it may be. Now, the other thing here is that I wanted to say, yeah, Mallory's, Mallory's probably a tr uh, true queen. That's correct, Mallory Williams. <clears throat> I have no argument with that, about that at all, you know. I've already said that I'm, you know, people say you're going down the drain with that. I'm already in the drain. I'm already, I'm thinking me as half gone now, okay? Circling the drain. So I really don't feel like I have anything left to really worry about anymore. Just have some fun and try to make sure that people don't shoot themselves in the foot. Good people. Like I said, there's there's great people on the other side of this that risk a lot just because of this, just because of people doing this stuff on the internet, getting something that they're not getting. You know, I, I just kind of laugh at it, and I think to myself, well, sooner or later they'll just stop giving. You know, it's just like a natural. <laughs> it'll be the next thing that comes along. Uh, it, they'll be the next latest and greatest guy in a band. It's more captivating, more exciting, and, and things will things will die their natural sort of death. You know, but when you go into chat rooms and say, "Oh, because you're not taking Elvis in, you're not caring," or if you're not doing this, it's a double edge. It's like it's like they say in China, the old Chinese saying. A needle can't be sharp at both ends, okay? You know, you can't, you can't criticize somebody for being an enabler. And then if that person turned around and took a gigantic step of, in, of asking somebody to come and try to help them out, well, you know, then that needle would be sharp at both ends, right? It just doesn't make sense in the zeitgeist or the spirit of the times that we're in right now. Now I don't agree with I don't agree with the Boris and Lindy show. Like I said, I don't I don't really like Boris. You know, but you know, he he is chosen. Okay, bye, bye, Corey. Love you. Go go ahead. But you know, he's chosen to interject himself into this situation yes his motives are the most sketchy in the world his track record is horrendous but he has chosen to put himself into this situation and you know at this point in time most of the uh most of uh most of the people that are right thinking people just hope for the best you know, we kind of hope that things can go good. So, you know, I kind of say, I've tried to say repeatedly in the chat tonight on the side when I was watching that the, is it bad to give Boris a chance to do, to maybe he can affect the change that other people uh, are unable to do. And somebody said, you're making the GBLT look bad. I'm only here for myself. I'm not trying to represent anybody here. I'm just me, myself, and I. I don't wear my sexuality on my sleeve. I don't ever lead with that. I don't go into these chat rooms and talk about the C word, the D word, and sucking this and doing that. I don't ever do that. But I hear it a lot. Mostly from the straight people. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Mallory does here, Rosie, give her a call. <laughs> so that's all I wanted to say tonight that I just feel like, and then I'll, I'll throw it open to everybody. I just feel like there's so many good people wrapped in this thing that are so honest to God, good people. And sometimes I just look at the relative merits of going to battle against a guy in a van that has some core supporters that care about him, that care about his future, and are probably going to consistently bail him out of these jams that he's in because they like him. Now you can do a whole you can do a whole psychological session on why. But that's the reality. For me, myself, and I, I think that the end game will probably be the ruination of him. And I think that the ruination of him will just be the beginning of the ruination of other people. And I'm just going to leave that thought on that because this, this thing, as it's gone now, if it goes through as planned, I just think it's going to have very a very long tail on it, and that's the bottom line. So, okay, you tickle my pickle. There's T birds, <laughs> T birds there. Good to see you. And uh, yeah, if the guys over in uh, Tucker Poons want to come over here, that's fine. If you want to chat on the side chat and you want to pursue that, you're most welcome to uh, to do so. Like I say. I'm not one that flags uh, people's channels and all that kind of uh, thing. I just I feel like YouTube is for fun, and uh, I was really upset when Sticker's channel went down uh, last week. That's the bottom because Stone Cold said so. Daryl Smith said you're as stupid as he is. Well, probably Daryl, probably, but at least I stand for something around here. There's Walter White right on cue. <laughs> I'm not sure, T-Bag. I have no idea. Uh, Boris will be Elvis's worst nightmare. I, you know, I can I can be big enough to wish Boris the best on it. You know, because it's, you know, you have a lot come back on you if it fails, and there's a there's a track record of uh, of you know, when things don't work well, people have a very long memory. So I think this empathetic Elvis is a temporary act, your thought. I really don't know, t -Burbs. I really don't know. You know, like I said, the reality is, you know, we would go to Las Vegas and then kind of go our separate ways. And I didn't, you know, you never saw me in his chats. Only until about a month ago when this stuff really started to, to fan. Tell, uh, I'm not going to tell that. <laughs> I'll find that. Matronista, I promise you I'll find that story on there, honey, unless I uh, unless I deleted that. Uh, yeah, in the old days, what we had to do for gender counseling was go, everybody dress up and get on the short bus and go to dances and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. DJ says I would... I would want to build a rebuild a steering good metal detector. I've never liked re having religion, sexuality, and gender thrown in my face. Yeah, I haven't either. Yes, I agree, Tucker Poon, and you're perfectly you're perfectly allowed to do that. Is it something I might have done? No. But our past is prologue. Our past is prologue. Uh, Mallory makes me think of a Missouri housewife. No idea why. Is I have nothing against Missouri house or housewife. Hi, Kim. Nice to see you, Kim Davis Callie in the house. So that's my that's my only thing is is give him a chance. Maybe he'll be the one that works. Uh, maybe maybe they're two alpha males. I don't know. But uh, I just try to uh, think about. Uh, no, no problem, Matronista. I'm always happy to see you, honey. Hey, John Grieve, as soon as he gets back in your own, go right back into his Gordon Gecko Wall Street. Greed is good. And you know what, T-Bergs? I think we just have to let it go. 
you know, I just think it's it's part of the fabric of America. Yeah, you know, Teddy said, I don't care about a person's sex. I just like smart. Yeah. Yeah, there we go, Kim. Well, yeah, a lot of people do that, Kim, in the early, uh, in the very early days. So, you know, I guess I kind of resented, uh, uh, you know, the virus thing when the, uh, when the, uh, when the big boys are in there play, are wearing 10 different uh, hats and being in uh, so many chats simultaneously, you know, the rules that apply to them don't apply to you and me. So that's the bottom line on that. You know, you can't even be in there and just try to suggest reason to people and give people something to think about, you know, without being, uh, without being nailed. Well, so be it. You know, that's life. That's the way it is. That's life in these United States of America. Did you get that bottom line off of Stone Cold like Elvis took the woo from Ric Flair? What was that? Then what's the bottom line thing? Yeah, Rosie's uncut ham and egg jockstrap. <laughs> you guys are too. You guys are too funny. You know, I saw. Uh, you know, I I had Amanda May comment on the videos today. And I welcome that, you know. I don't want to see somebody who's already had such a shit role in life, much of it self-inflicted, to be wrapped up in any nonsense. It could, you know, be more troublesome. Hi, uh, hi Lake Shadow. Nice to see you. Bottom line, because Stone Cold sets up. No, we got uh, we've had bottom line for a lot of years. My thing is the needle can't be uh, can't be sharp at both ends. No, just commented uh, who has a greater chance of uh, winning the Detroit Lions winning the Super Bowl or Elvis getting a job. <laughs> Sadly, I had to conclude Elvis getting. <laughs> Nothing against Detroit Lions and stuff like that. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be at odds. Uh, I don't want to be at odds with anybody. And, uh, you know, honestly, that is a person that, uh, you know, we, you know, I think that she end up, ended up being as hurt as I was at the way that, uh, the way that things turned out ultimately between us because yeah so that's good it says amanda's tough not the same person as two years ago even has a job that's wonderful so being tough was never the problem with uh, amanda never the problem you huffing a computer cleaner laughing gas now <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just, I don't know, but I just, I just think that, uh, you know, this, this, this person's life uh, has, has been struggle and things like that. Let's see, Robert Wilbur said, I'm the only one to blame for this. Somehow it all ends up the same, soaring on the wings of selfish pride. And I flew too high and like Icarus, I collide. Yeah, Kim said, tranny equals tough, tough equals tranny. That's pretty funny. So I just say, Boris, I do wish you luck in your endeavor. Your track record speaks mightily against you. The type of person that you are speaks mightily against you, that you do tend to pick on helpless people and just targets of opportunity for, for reasons that don't make a lot of sense. But I want to put that all aside and say, you know, I do wish you the best in your endeavor with uh, with uh, reforming and trying to get him 
on a track in life because it was never something that I was able to do. Because bottom line, Elvis considers himself an entertainer and he's, he will always want to be an entertainer, which I cannot argue with. You know, because when he's on game and the things are rolling along pretty good, he's a funny guy. When he's cooking in the rig, when he's eating outside, when he's showing RVs. <clears throat> Lions fans for 40 years, sadly, I have to say, well, Elvis will probably get a job first. You know, some people just like to hear themselves talk. Well, that's true, Spirit of Salt said Boris's involvement may not last after the 25. I'm not sure. Somebody will be here to, to tell the tale. After the 21st, I might not be. A lot of people, like I said, uh, you two may just clear the board here. Yeah, T. Berg said, Coach had a tough video about Elvis yesterday. Why do people care that much and get so negative, negative press equals? Uh, yeah. I agree, Teddy Long. But uh, Elvis does not see himself as down, and I will not walk away. I will be here. I will watch. I will be engaged in chat rooms. And I will be continuing to give advice, but I am not throwing money into it. Only in the most dire circumstance would I do that. I gave that pledge, and I stick to that pledge. You can troll me all you want. Happy Meal and all you other you dipstick. I guess the 21st is when it's supposed to tip into the negative. Would you ever marry Elvis? No, I would not. I would not. Okay, yeah, Lake Shadow. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, you just want to be honest. The problem with uh, Lake Shadow, prop, Lake Shadow says, I wouldn't worry, Rosie. I've seen lots of ongoing fights on YouTube, and they did nothing about it. But the problem is, this is not just a YouTube fight, right? This thing, this thing spins into somebody's viability for life beyond YouTube. And that's the thing that I think people fail to consider is that they consider they consider YouTube to be the end game, but yet they don't entertain any thoughts that this thing could have very long, a very long tail to it. It's very easy to throw up your hands and say, I don't give a bullshit, you know, this, it's nothing. No. Uh, yeah, I like Co Coates is a fine man. I like Coates. I got no problem with Coates. Coates and I did his cinnamon buns, the best channel on the interwebs right there. Hey, Smooth, how are you? Do you think Boris might have something to do with the chargebacks? Absolutely not. No. Nope. No. Nope. Boris has had no connection to Elvis except to yell at him for years and berate him and uh, engage in the screaming match and everything until two days ago. <clears throat> Do you plan on bailing Z out of his financial problems? He has been hit hard with uh, chargebacks. No, it's not my responsibility, Snake Eyes. If I were some of the people doing that, though, I would pray that uh, it doesn't result in his uh, being out of here. <clears throat> I see many people go to people's houses and come and put people in jail by calling authorities and man abuse, all kinds of stuff. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff goes on on YouTube and a lot of stuff bleeds, bleeds over into real life. And I don't think sometimes people realize the consequences until somebody goes and <clears throat> ends up hung in a closet because of social media or somebody else's reputation is ruined or somebody else, uh, you know, can't can't do this or that anymore. Yeah, Elvis. Well, I can't. The chargebacks are nothing that I can. You know, I don't. I don't feel inclined. I just had people write write letters to AdSense and to Google and YouTube, just making them aware of what was going on, and everybody knew that that was coming. And I did that just to keep the playing field level. So that perhaps YouTube would stop a second 
and look into this thing and at least put a red flag on the channel as this thing occurs. And then they could go back and examine the, the money that went in, the flow of those funds and the sourcing, and then watch as the same credit cards pulled out. Now, everything to YouTube is a statistical algorithm. You know, when they look at when they look at contributions on Super Chat and stuff like that, they know per average viewers or something like that, how many how many donations and things come in. And when things YouTube is always alerted in Google when things are outside of the norm, like one, two, three standard deviations, when outsized contributions come in, then you know their red flags go up and this will just be a uh, this will just be a warning to them that yes it looked like something something happened in here so there's a chance he there's a chance he may not be shut down his accounts but there, the highest likelihood is it'll be shut down because youtube doesn't give a crap about a very small pimple on the youtube size earth here so when these guys talk about that they're 100 percent correct on that the likelihood is there there's nothing um, there's nothing that will be done about it so hi Tara nice to see you Rosie with all due respect your hangouts were so much more fun when they were all about Elvis what will what happen what happens will happen well, like Friday, Saturday night, I just open them wide open now, Kim. I've had so many people that wrote me, the Terror Electric, the Electras, and the other people wrote me in life and said, no mods, I was the best hangout I've been on on Saturday night. I'm not going to control what people want to talk about. And uh, no problem, Kim. There's no, I don't get any disrespect at all. As a matter of fact, I'm flattered that you even ever watched one of my, uh, all my uh, hangouts. Uh, on here because you know i try to just have things fun but going forward i just feel like i just whatever anybody wants to talk about i'm not going to have moderation if you have a problem with somebody else outside of the hangout please deal with that person in there please don't bring the drama into the chat room <clears throat> so we had a wide open I had a wide open, you know, a lot of people were talking over each other, but it was a, uh, a lot of people enjoyed that, uh, that big wide open chat. <clears throat> yeah, well it is because this is, you know, the Elvis situation has been a, a lightning rod for people to come down on different sides of the issue of freedom. That's why it's, uh, that's why it's kind of the, the flavor of the day. There'll be something else that comes along. No, oh, thank you, Cam. You're you're so sweet. Looks like uh, YouTube likes to promote sex and violence. I'm not sure, Medlin. I just you know I do lighthearted, sexy stuff, and uh, you know not. I don't ever come on and talk about the sucking and the c word and the d word and. Uh, you know, it's it's not. I don't think it's appropriate to come on, uh, you know, in chat rooms and talk about that stuff. Uh, yeah. Greg's very happy to sit on the side now, smooth. Yeah, YouTube promotes whatever will bring their cash register. And this is this is something. This situation that a lot of people have wanted wanted to be very engaged and plugged in though. Jen and I took two hours today, three hours today, and we had a Joseph King marathon here. We looked at his wonderful videos of him prospecting and all the pictures he sent us, and it was a nice break. <clears throat> Let's see, Spirit of Salt says, Snake is unlikely there's any bank fraud. The new account was because the existing bank account could be frozen by the chargebacks. I don't know. I'm no, uh, you know, I was in private banking, but not commercial banking. So I'm not aware of, uh, I'm not aware of the ins and outs of commercial banking. I mean, uh, the people that are running this show did their homework. You got to hand it to them. These are not, these, these are not dumb people. They're, they're not smart in one sense beyond the bigger picture, but you know, 
like I said tonight on my uh, evening thing, if uh, if Tara and I were going to knock over a bank, very likely we would have an ability to keep our mouths shut and nobody would ever know about it. You know, if you really wanted to take out Camper Van Elvis, what would you do? You guys tell me on the side chat, what would you have done instead? Using the same scheme, what would have been your approach? And I'll wait a minute for the side chat to answer that. Yeah, T. Berg said, I don't believe in taking anybody out. Robert Wilbur says, I think in a bigger picture, they protected their backs and the trail won't lead back to them, the trolls. But I mean, if you were going to do it, what would you do? Well, yes, Kevin Chambers do nothing and move on, of course. I mean, I, I don't think I'd ever get involved in a, in a, in a shit show like this. Okay, I agree with that. But if you were going to do that and you would, we were going to be one of the perpetrators, yeah, using the same scheme, put it in action and never mention it and just wait for the outcome and never say anything about it. But it's like, it's like Goodfellas. Remember in Goodfellas when uh, De Niro starts getting real pissed off because uh, Tommy Two Times shows up, his girlfriend's got a new fur coat. Or Maury shows up, look at my Cadillac, hey, you know, what do you, hey, I'm not going to spend a little money, right? I got to live a little bit. And the next thing you know, Maury gets whacked and his wife gets whacked. And Tommy two times ends up in a, on a meat hook in a, in a meat locker, right? Yeah, this is, this is what I say, Swamp Pick. says, that's what I don't understand. Why are the parties blabbing in real time? Because they can fly up to the sun. And they believe that they are gods. That's the problem. That is the basic problem. And that's right. You man, next and maybe next it'll be them taking. People don't think about. It. People don't think about it. Yeah, you've got you absolutely positively keep your mouth shut. And then you know what? Nobody ever knows one day you wake up and camper van Elvis is gone and nobody is aware of it. And as it is now, there's thousands of people fixated on this. Thousands of people that have seen the dialogues roll by and the uh, and the chats. Yeah, so Smooth said, so there's going to be a whack. I don't know. I have no idea, you know. But everything, you may think that, uh, and this is what, uh, this is where Robert Wilbur is wrong. Everybody thinks that things don't leave a trail. Everything today leaves a trail, okay? Everything today leaves a trail. Okay, and we'll we'll have the uh, financial. We'll have the legal seminar another day of what the what the after game could look like. That should be very interesting too. Yeah, that should be a very interesting little chit chat. That one. So let's see. Jen saying she wants to squash me like a cockroach over here. What did I do now? All right, let me see. Let me scroll up. I mean, Jen wanted to smash me like a conquer roach. 
Yeah, that's that's you, Tucker Poon. Everything leaves a trail when it comes to them, but the authorities will not bend their backwards for a charge back where there really isn't a victim. Uh, don't be so sure. Don't be so sure, Robert Wilbur. Uh, better think about when a guy's uh, when a guy's uh, when a guy's livelihood has been removed from him. You better think really twice about that, Robert Wilbur. You better go back tonight and think long and hard about that really long and really hard about that just saying yeah your brother-in-law did i'm just saying you know it's everything leaves a trail to it even if Elvis survives, this the only way of being able to make an income will be impossible unless he uses PayPal and only accepts cash. So his YouTube income is gone. Whether it was pre-managed or not, there was nothing illegal about All these platforms allow for chargebacks. Elvis got greedy and spent money. Well, God blues, it won't be for me to decide. You know, it's not my game. I'm not running it. I hope that you're correct. You know, I mean, it's not like I say, I don't have any skin in it. I don't have any skin in the game here. <clears throat> you don't have to report income unless you make, I think the filing limit is like $14,000 a year. Hi, Debbie. Nice to see you. <clears throat> nice to see you, sweetie. But Rosie, you have to admit, Elvis Greed played a huge part of this and watched hanging the house and talking Lacey and the ghost show you for you. Yeah, I, I agree with that, Emerson. I got no problem. Like I said, I can't stand e-begging. I just wanted people to think of, of implications and things. That's all. That, that uh, Things are in action and reaction, but they'll tell you, what do I know? I don't know anything. I'm not a lawyer. I don't play one on TV. I'm just a stupid person that just comments and I'm a virus. So, you know, what do I know, right? <clears throat> I, I don't know anything. I just go in and just try to stimulate people's thinking and, you know, if it doesn't pan out, it doesn't pan out, so. <clears throat> Hello, Patches, nice to see you back, my friend. So, but make make no make no mistake about it. When you when you choose to live your safe life, asking for money, it's not going to be, you know, it's probably not going to go well. Uh, it's probably not going to go well in the longest run on it. That would be my only, uh, you know, and I've and I've stick to. I learned my lesson two years ago. Learned my lesson two years ago. So nothing I ever, very few things I ever did ever turned out. And after a while, you just stop, you stop trying, you stop getting involved in it. I've talked to a detective and they said they're so swamped with so many crimes when somebody's hurt burglaries, etc. set are like $200 a day. But what you're failing to understand, Robert Wilbur, is we're not talking about, you're not talking about one state here, okay? You know, this we're not we're talking about something that is not on a state level here, okay? Yeah, I think it's bigger than they realize. This is you're talking about something that because multiple people are involved in multiple states, you're talking about something that far transcends a state level walking into a local precinct here, okay. <laughs> Ooh, now you guys are going to fight about the, uh, you guys are going to fight about the hangouts now. You know, I just, I think now it could be better for everybody involved if the, if the money was charged out and gone, but he was able to keep his YouTube channel and keep his ad sets. <laughs> Wilbur, I'm not saying, uh, Robert, Brandon, I'm not saying, I don't know anything. I'm just a virus around here. That's all. You know, I'm just, I'm a virus. Right? I'm just a pain in the ass. That's all it is. 
Yeah, see, uh, see how funny it is, Dave. It looks like uh, some people were fighting about the uh, about the hangout. <laughs> I don't know, Jay, and I'm not involved in the storm. I'm not in it. There's just some very nice people that are involved. Yeah, the money should be returned, but there shouldn't be any uh, charges incurred. That's correct. I think the best thing you do is just come clean and, and contact uh, Google and YouTube and just tell them, that uh you know this is what we did and let me tell you at the end of it yeah i'm a shit hawk at the end of it if it does go down like that and he does disappear there will be a lot of people with a lot of financial firepower they will be uh, they will be encouraged to pick up that that uh, stick and run with it. Not me. I got bigger fish to fry with Missy Jen and just the way people have contacted and told me, "Yeah, Mister Lady, what are you looking at there?" There's a shit storm coming. You can smell it near. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it's it ultimately loses in the end. Let's see. Smooth said, "I have insider information, but I can't find it." <clears throat> a fatwa, huh? The uh, the shawarma summit. Probably, if that happens, all of us the odds it will be done by somebody who doesn't go on the internet. Trust me. Yeah, I don't know, Robert Wilbur. You know. I don't know. I'd say it's not going to be my it's not going to be my fight to fight, you know. But I'm just saying, uh, whatever happens, <laughs> I'm I'm your new favorite hangout. Oh no, T Birds. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, don't you know what what you see painted. I just I just say this. A lot of people on YouTube are able to keep their mouths shut. And just because you don't see them on in the side chat bloviating and and spewing their, you know, having their say and stuff doesn't mean that they're not watching and having opinions about things. You know, and they they have their own senses of justice and injustice. You know, they they have the rolling posse, you know, the vigilante group, and there's other people that are kind of the freedom fighters out there that are kind of being marshaled about this whole thing. And they're not they're not exactly happy about that. I hear about it. You know, they write me and 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 express their dislike of what's going on. But it's not it's not my thing. You know, I just don't want to see. Hey, hey, Tim. There's Tim McKenna, the fearless patriot. Like, you bet your a. <clears throat> That's what I tell you. People, people have that hubris. They have that pride. They have the smugness that they think they're above people. Uh, thank you, Ashley. I think things will be okay. I think that things are okay. Like I say, I've tried to be honest with people and tell people, but, uh, you know, whatever happens, happens. I've got Missy Jen to take care of. That's my highest priority. <laughs> and uh, making sure that we're safe and doing some traveling. I don't want to go after, uh, I don't want to go after this crap, be involved in this crap. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to be some, you know, just watch people be treated like stooges. Oh, excuse me. You know, T-Berg said, I hate 
hate these people who are doing chargebacks. That's fucked up. Yeah, well, you got to kind of take it up with them. I think their intent is to just this guy's to them has been a pariah and a negative on the community. And this might have been their last shot to deal with that. Nothing swamp pick. I'm just saying I'm, uh, I'm prepared. See a security license. You have a cash behind a perfect solution. Friends helping friends. It doesn't make any sense to me. Seeds to freedom. He doesn't want to come out to Santa Rosa. According to him, Santa Rosa is burnt toast. Why don't you invite him down to Australia and get him a visa and bring him down to your place? Then you can give him all the lectures that you want and you can play Dr. Phil with him down there. That's probably a better idea. Why do individual people have the authority to decide who should be on YouTube and who shouldn't? Leave it up to YouTube. Leave the lynching out of it. You know. The bottom line is, Seeds, I've talked to Marshall about coming here before, but he does not, you know, a lot of this, uh, a lot of this city burned down and he doesn't care about, uh, he doesn't care about uh, what happened here with this stuff going on. Good night, Kevin. Good night. <laughs> Two rights made an airplane. I love that. <laughs> That's the quote of the day. That is the quote of the day. I like that. Two rights made a... Yeah, I'm not a two T Berg, and the, the thing is, I like a lot of people that are on the other. Uh, well, I like pe people on both sides of it. So I try to just steer. I just try to steer clear of it. I try to stay out of it. I just try to guide Elvis a little bit on the steering column stuff. Not to pay for anything, not to put any money in, but to get the pictures and look at stuff, talk on the phone, and say, "Yeah, I don't think that housing can be repaired on the inside. Of that better to just pull a." Better to just pull a column like uh, like uh, the guy that's helping him, the guy that's helping him down in Florida. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure who Lacey Rocks is. I'm not, you know, I'm not as sure at all. T Bergs, I just, you know, I just go in chat rooms and I just chat. That's all. Uh, I'll be right back. I got to use the restroom here.
Thank you. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn it on. I wanted to just reach out to Seeds and tell him that, uh, uh, okay, I'm okay. Just tell him that, uh, you know, your idea is a good one, except that uh, Marshall does not, you know, this city's terribly burned out. And uh, what we need up here is people that can uh, use a shovel, uh, frame a house, uh, help with uh, heavy equipment, operators, and stuff like that. What we don't need up here is Elvis entertainers on the street because it's, people are just in no mood for that here. And there's just no percentage in uh in that kind of work uh when when that's the reality of it no i don't think so ellie this is exactly what i'm trying to say i don't think marshall's capable uh yeah it is seeds this this city is terribly burned uh let's see rosie boris is talking to you in his hangout talking to me or about me i don't know what uh, I'll, i guess i'll listen to it tomorrow yeah, hard work is a great reality changer. I wish. You know, capable is not the same as willing. That's why I say, God, Bluth, I'm not going to fool myself. But I just support his right to, if he claims himself to be an entertainer or whatever, then your future hangs on that. Don Juan, nice to see you, my friend. Oh, it's great. I love seeing Don Juan. Coming in. Nice to see you, Don Juan. <clears throat> Santa Rosa can't use a king in your time of crisis. No, there's no. We don't have we don't have space for entertainers. There's people that can't even house themselves up here. Their things are so dire right now. They don't. We don't need a. We don't need an Elvis tribute artist here. We need carpenters. We need heavy equipment operators. We need people that can slog cement out. We need people that can do foundation work, framing. <clears throat> no space for royalty, T Birds. People will boo him. <laughs> Rob, you're unbelievable. <laughs> That's my, not my concern. He seems to uh, he seems to enjoy Florida. And uh, two years ago, he was very critical of Florida, but now he he enjoys Florida. He likes being in the warm in the warm there. So I don't think he'll be leaving Florida. Uh, you know, he's he's uh, said repeatedly on Hangouts that, uh, as he calls it, Santa Rosa is burnt toast, and there's nothing here for him. So throw a tomato, throw tomato. Okay, I sang two songs for Z. I hope he watches them. Yeah, I watched your stuff today. Yeah. Freedom, you have quite a little bit of, uh, you have quite a call following there. We shook twice a day. Yeah, I've seen Annie's just been constantly rocked with 40,000 earthquakes down in uh, New Zealand. You almost get the, you almost get the idea, Mrs. Jen, that the end times are, uh, are here. Yep. Jerusalem, the, Jerusalem the old uh, the old Israel shall rise with Jerusalem. It's, it's, it's a lot of spooky things. So four point oh and a three point eight. There's Jack. Throw a few tomatoes the King's Way. Throw a few water balloons. I guess the King's Way. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and shut it down. I think Missy Jen and I are going to retire early. I've got a very early morning. Let's see. Don Juan says, Rosenberg, just curious in your opinion, was that cast aluminum default in the part or just from the ages during column? 
It was a result of using the tilt wheel all the time and having it in a down position and then pulling yourself in and out of the rig put that torsion on it that broke it on the back part. So thank you, everybody, for uh, being here. And uh, have a good evening. Love you guys.